this is my mum Chelsea, welcome back to the channel and right now we are actually in the Maldives um, We're on a holiday aren't we? Yeah and so far it's been absolutely amazing, we've had quite a lot of adventures Yeah every day has been jam packed hasn't it? Yeah. And you might have noticed that there wasn't a video on Friday so we just wanted to come on and update you because we've got a bit of popcorn news as well which we knew before we came away and loads of you are asking asking if you're missing popcorn yeah i am yeah. i just want to get back on them again because i haven't got back on them in a couple of weeks yeah and yeah so w before we came away um popcorn got re-scoped um so yeah if you look back at the video where popcorn isn't the popcorn isn't well vlog you will see that what happened in the scope and basically they put the camera down into his stomach just to see what's going on with his ulcers and we were convinced, weren't we, that they had gone. Yeah. Like, I, I nearly didn't do the scope again uh, because I was like, oh, he's definitely better. Like, he's he was improved so much. He was getting better. Like, his temperament and he the way he's being so ridden. He was much more friendlier. Yeah, and even when you were grooming, he wasn't even, like, l turning his head round. No, or, and he went back to his cheeky self as well. Yeah, he was doing loads of cheeky things. So I was like, do you know what, is there any point starving him for the night because they can't eat from about 8 p.m at night till the next day till the vet comes in the morning so i was like is there any point of like putting him through that stress of not being able to eat so i was like i really didn't want to do it um but in the end i did because the vet was like look we just need to know if they've gone or not and i was like really do we do we have to and she's like yeah we do because we need to see if it's working and if not we'll have to do something else and I was like, okay, right, we'll just we'll just do it then. So um, I, we waited till half term had finished, and I said, okay, right, this come when you know Harlow's gone back to school and everything. And over half term, we went we went out went out show jumping with him, didn't we? Yeah, and he was an he, absolute uh, angel. He loved it so yeah. much. And now I feel really guilty because when he had the scope done, so the vet came. Um, just before we went away, we came away to, to the Maldives and um, I wasn't actually there. We weren't there that day, were we, were we for the scope? No. And yeah, so the vet called me after and was like, oh, it's not good news. And I was like, oh no. I, was, I really, really wasn't expecting it. Like no. I was, I was thinking that they were all gone away because he got back to his cheeky yeah. smiley self yeah so not only have they just haven't gone away they've actually got worse which well, it was the last thing i was thought one, i was gonna hear one of them's kind of gone away yeah so one's got worse yeah so popcorn had ulcers in two areas so um the te i haven't got all the paperwork on me but all know the technical terms but yeah so one area had cleared up really really well with the treatment that he was on so he was on the treatment for like seven or eight weeks and one area had actually got worse so which is not good which is which no it wasn't good i just completely shot because his temperament and how well he'd been and he was just like his normal self so for them i i thought they were gone like the last thing i thought i was going to hear was they've actually got I worse know. so yeah so the vet has now had to start a new treatment she says she's it's a bit it's, more it's like, more powerful. Yeah. And he's having like, I think he's having like eight tablets in the morning and at the same at night. I'm not 100% sure how many tablets is. He's on a lot of tablets per day, which they just put in like uh, some chaff and he just, they're mixed in with the chaff and he just eats them. He doesn't even know they're there. And then he's on injections once a week. So the vet is booked in. Um, so he would have had two the time of this video oh he'd be due to have one today so his third one will be today and he's on four uh, injections four sets so one injection every monday and he's going to have that for one more week and then he's going to be re-scoped so we're going to see how he's doing then but he, he's so good with the tablets because we were there one night when he was taking the tablets and he just ate it right up like he didn't no he didn't even know that they were there and he's he's been he's been such a dream and i'm so glad now that i have got him scoped because we would have like stopped the treatment and i'm like oh he's definitely got better because he's so much happier now and 
He's letting Harlow groom him. He's not even get putting the ears he, back or anything. He was falling asleep when I was grooming him. I was like, oh, he's definitely yeah. back to his old self. And he just seems like himself. So I was just completely shocked that it just wasn't the news that I thought it was going to be. But at least we carried on with the, with the treatment and he's on even better treatment now. Um, and he was, you're not allowed to do this treatment first, the injection one. Um, just because it is quite weak. No, no, the vet said that he has to try the first option first, and I thought that was working. Um, so, yeah, so hopefully it will be better in his next scope, which will be in about a week's time. Um, you can still ride him, but it's actually been amazing timing that we've come on this holiday. We had this holiday booked anyway, regardless. Um, so it's been, we haven't been on holiday for a couple of years. Well, we went COVID. away. Yeah, we went away last um, last year, to, last August, and then since we got popcorn, the holidays just all come. I know what's been going on in the world hasn't helped, but yeah, since we got popcorn, I was like, let's just not go away. Let's just enjoy popcorn. So yeah, he's definitely kept us at home a lot because normally mm -hmm. we're. We're going here, there and everywhere, aren't we? We yeah. do love going away. We so. normally go to a couple countries a year. Yeah, definitely. We like seeing different places. And yeah, going on we love coaches. travelling. And yeah, we can't wait to share this Maldives vlogs with you as well. It's been been amazing so far, hasn't it? Yeah, it's been so good to be out and about and yeah, just here again. It's our favourite place and it's just incredible. So yeah, that's coming soon. Um, yeah, and when we get back, you will still be able to ride popcorn and popcorn's on full livery so they are t taking the best care of him and he's on his treatment he's on a really strict routine and yeah routine is key with popcorn and he's still eating loads of hay all the time he's always got access to hay and yeah. He's even got the crazy eater hay net, but he's made so many holes in yeah, it. Yeah, he's actually like ripped the hay net a little bit to make the holes bigger. So I, I found some baler twine in the where they keep the hay, and I tried to fix some of the massive holes that he's made. <laughs> so to slow him down a little bit. So yeah, fingers crossed he's going to be get better really, really soon, like completely better. And then that will be the ends of the ulcers because the one section that has cleared up is cleared up beautifully. So we'd now just need the other section and it's in the upper part of his stomach. And she said it was, it was like quite angry and it would be causing him a lot of pain. So it just goes to show what like a little saint he is to have just tolerated everything that's going on. Um, yeah, he's just, he's incredible isn't he like any boy. other pony you know well most ponies would definitely let you know and I feel so like he's gave us no warning signs at all that his ulcers weren't just when you're doing the girth up he puts his ears back and switches yeah. his tail a bit but that's, that's quite normal for him thought he was getting better I know that's the only only thing that he was doing and you know, that could be like a memory thing that might take ages and ages or might never ever ever go, basically. Um so yeah, hopefully when we do get it fully cleared. That that will be the end of it and there'll be no more ulcers. So yeah, but when you get back you will be riding he's been doing light work anyway because of the yard that he's at, they do exercise him. So I think he's been being lunged and having some light ridden work. Um, like really really light just to keep him because I said to the vet I said oh should we just completely cut out his work and she was like no it's not a good idea because when he does come back if he has like a month off and then he does come back into work it's actually going to be quite stressful for him so um, she said it's best just to keep him going and just to doing very very light stuff with him and not for very long um, so yeah that's what he's been doing and what we will be doing with him when we get back so, yeah, fingers crossed, fingers we are crossed nearly at the end of it and the vet said that this is a really powerful treatment that he's on and it should work, hopefully. So, yeah, we just wanted to give you an update of what's going on um, and, yeah, we've got loads of videos planned, haven't we? Yeah, we yeah. have got a couple popcorn videos 
yeah we've got yeah we're still gonna be filming with popcorn and we've got other things planned and we're going to olympia before christmas that's gonna well, be london really hall show it's called now yeah that's gonna be really good um i haven't been since i was about 10 10 11 and you've never I'm been 10. yeah i haven't been since I, since I was your age and you've never been no no so it's going to be quite different for me because i've never really been in like a massive environment where there are these amazing hall stands yeah it's loads of amazing. shopping loads of amazing talented riders and yeah it's gonna be lots to see isn't there so yeah we've got that coming up it's christmas we've got loads of lovely things planned with popcorn for christmas we aren't doing vlogmas loads of you have asked if we're doing that um we like to do like really really nice vlogs that we know that you're going to enjoy and they're nice quality they're entertaining and if we was to do 25 vlogs like a vlog every single day for December. I think that would be a bit too much for popcorn as like, I haven't ridden him in a long time. <laughs> um, we just wouldn't be able to fit it in, honestly. And I just don't think that it would be like, I just don't think it would be great just also, to do 25 I've got vlogs in a row. as well. You've got school, yeah. Um, so yeah, there's no vlogmas, but there's definitely some Christmas content. And yeah, the Moldy's, con Moldy's vlog, um, yeah. So yeah, we've got lots to come. Videos will still be coming. We just didn't have one to go up on Friday whilst we was here. It was all just, it was so stressful to actually get here, wasn't it? It, uh, it was just stressful. Oh, the I, paperwork, the PCR tests. I didn't sleep on the plane because it was just so uncomfortable. <laughs> like. Yeah, we didn't sleep on the plane. It was a long way to get here. And just even just like, packing to get here and then things with like my work and, Oh, loads of stuff going on, and yeah. But Isn't yes. it like a 11 or 10 hour flight? Isn't it? Yeah, 10 hour flight, yeah. But you'll see all that soon. But yes, I hope you... Well, it's not a really enjoyable update, was it? Because Popcorn yeah. isn't well. But fingers crossed that he is going to be 100% better soon. And hopefully that they don't come back after this, and hopefully they stay away for good this time. Yeah, we just need to get rid of them, and then you know, the vet's going to have a plan that to keep them away, so he's got to be weaned off of the treatment. So, yeah, he's in the best hands, and we're doing everything that we can for him. Um, so, yeah. But I think when we do bring him off the treatment, we'll have to bring him off quite slowly, because he's just had this, like, in power of treatment that's going to get these osses away. Hopefully yeah, definitely, because it can make them come back. fast. Yeah, but if anyone is going through the same as us, then I would definitely suggest getting them scoped again because yeah we were just shocked weren't we mm. we just weren't expecting it so um it's lucky that the vet was like no we really need to do another scope um a good vet yeah you need a good vet keep up with the scopes even though it isn't nice for them it's the best thing for them and yeah it isn't it's manageable that's the thing it's we are going to get rid of it, um, get rid of these ulcers soon, we hope. For once yeah. and for all. And, yeah. So, yeah. <laughs> I think it's time to go to bed now. We're all ready for bed, but, yeah, I thought, just thought we could just come on here and give you a little update. Uh, but, yeah, we will see you soon. Bye. Bye.